Welcome. Today we're going to look at Things 3 Search out of my Stay Focused, Stay Organized with Things 3 course. Um, it's going to go over the search because it's super powerful and I'm going to show you how to use it. You can take the course by going to curtismichael.ca slash membership where you can get all of my courses or you can look below. There are links to the courses on Skillshare. Have an awesome day. This lesson will take a look at the search quickly. So, so Things 3 has an excellent search access by typing Command F. And I can go to stuff like my upcoming view. Uh, but more importantly, I actually use it for accessing things like my tags, like this week or my next week tag. I find this much more useful to be able to do um, to access it this way in uh, my iPad when I have a keyboard attached or in Mac OS when I uh, can always have a keyboard attached. For my phone, the easiest way to do this is actually to pull down. You'll find the search, and then you can just type the search to access the different things you need. Most often, I do this when I'm out and you say shopping for different you know, supplies for the house as we do have renovations, and I'm looking for, say, my hardware tag. And I can find my hardware tag and find everything I need to buy at the hardware store. In addition to just being able to find tags, you can actually even find tasks. So I know I have an rsync one. Uh, one right now, and because I'm copying two big hard drives between each other, and this is one hard drive is failing, and so I need to just keep track of the command for a couple days until I've done all the copying of this, um, because this command will actually already pick up uh, where it left off all the time because I'm transferring multiple terabytes of data. So I can go back and find this really easily when the hard drive is dropped off and I need to restart the copy again. In the next lesson, we'll look at the reminders integration between Things 3.